section. Hey, it's Alan Miguel Kaplan again, coming to you from my kitchen here in Taos, New Mexico, in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains on Sunday. You know what Sunday is? Sunday's pizza night for the Kaplan family. So we're going to make our own pizza. Let's we'll start off with the dough here. I've got three cups of unbleached flour. And I'm going to add about two tablespoons of yeast. I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt. And one teaspoon of sugar. Teaspoon of sugar. That looks like one teaspoon. Let's see how good I am. Oh my god, that's perfect. There we go. To this, I'm going to add some of my extra virgin olive oil infused with my chilies and a sauté. One tablespoon. That's one tablespoon. Believe me, take my word for it. That's one tablespoon. Okay, now we've got to add hot water. This is just tap water. It's about 110 degrees. We're adding two cups, maybe a cup and a half. Let's see how it comes out. This one, you gotta see how it works out and go from there. Oh, okay. we'll find something in here. Oh, here we go. All right, we're gonna mix this. Linda, can you get in closer? Yeah. So we're gonna see how this incorporates, how it comes together. Hey, did you guys read Kristal's article up in peace today about education? Gotta go see it. Actually, gotta go read it. Needs a little bit more water. You know, he's writing from Washington, D.C., and here in New Mexico, the schools are definitely falling apart. All right, this is looking perfect. So what we're going to do is just mix this up. Get it all together. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to say, hey guys. Salud. Dinero y amor. Sunday night and tomorrow's President's Day. Tomorrow we'll talk about Lincoln and Washington. All right, so this is pretty much ready. We just got a little bit more flour to pull together here. Okay? Oh, that's gorgeous. Get the excess dough off. That's beautiful. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this with saran wrap. And by the miracle, Linda, what are you doing? And by the miracle of television and video and YouTube and whatever we got here, look at that, I've done it already. This I did about uh, four hours ago, so you need about four hours time. This one's all ready to go. I'm gonna take it out. We put it on a board with a little flour. Scrape that out. Okay. Kind of move it together. Now for those of you who've never baked, what you want to do again is just put it together, just like that. Look how pretty that is, huh? You can make so many things with this, focaccia. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for about 10, 15 minutes. And while we're doing that, we're gonna turn our oven on to 500 or 525 degrees. Okay, we've got our pans ready for the pizza. By the way, pizza doesn't have to be round, you know, it can be square, rectangle. And we've got all the stuff ready to go. We'll talk about it after we get back from this break. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the dough off our hands, have another glass of wine, talk to you in a little while, see you in about 10 minutes. Ciao. Okay, we're back. So we've got this, uh, Nice loaf here. 
pizza dough, split into two. Okay, and by the way, this other pizza dough that I made, it's going to be ready in four, six hours. This is good for uh, one week, uh, wrapped in a uh, um, saran wrap in the fridge, up to a month in the uh... freezer. Thanks, Linda. All right. So we got our pans here ready to go. We're gonna put a little cornstarch down. Help it from sticking. Okay. Spread that around. Oh God, it feels so good when you get food things. Oh, it feels so good. All right. Oh, by the way, I made my own tomato sauce for the pizza. I'll give that to you another day. Okay. All right, so what are we doing now? We're going to take our two pizzas and we're going to flatten them out. Well, again, like I said on the radio, I was on the radio the other day, you don't need all this fancy equipment, okay? If I wanted to, I could get round pan and make my pizza round. But I don't see why I have to make my pizza round. I can make my pizza any shape I want. I can make my pizza look like the United States. There's Florida, Texas, uh, screw Texas. Um, <laughs> California. Yeah, well, you know, look at that. See now it's coming out? It looks just like the United States. Lindy, you see that? This kind of looks like Puerto Rico. Oh boy, what I like to be in Puerto Rico now. I bet you it's 80 degrees in Puerto Rico. The casino, the girls, wow. Lynn, do you want to go to Puerto Rico? I'm there. Say sure, why not? Absolutely. Linda, speak up, we can't hear you. Oh, you can hear me. Okay then. Alright. So we got our crust laid out. Alright. Now we want to do is we're going to just throw a little bit of olive oil again or extra virgin olive oil okay just put a little bit on there just like that and spread around a little move it around move it around move it around move it around, move it around. All right, so what is it that you want me to talk about, Linda? More interesting things than the school systems? Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about the fact that, is he still free, Bush? Or has he been arrested yet? Oh, he's still free, okay. So what are we gonna do about him, huh? Well, he ain't coming around here because this county voted 82% for Mr. Barack Obama, the half-white candidate. I know, everybody says he's black, but he's really not. He's biracial. He's an American. That's what's cool about it. Okay, so I've got my Tomato sauce that I made, and we're gonna put a little bit on here, not too much, a couple of spoonfuls. Anybody hear Van Marsen in the background? Boy, do I like Van Marsen. All right, so I'm just gonna spread it around, just like that pizzeria that you know you find in New York or New Jersey. They make these beautiful pizzas, just we're gonna do the same thing. Spread it around, spread the wealth. Spread it around. Don't worry if you go over the edges. Okay, Picasso used to uh, paint over the edges too, okay? So there we go. So you got the oil in there. And that's looking good, looking good, looking good. And the oven is already on 525. If you can only get your oven up to 500, that's okay too. But I figured out how to get my oven up to 525 until I get a new oven that can go to 650, 700 degrees. But right now, we're over there. So we're going to move this on the side. Go with that. I got some mozzarella cheese that I had the market shred for me. Save me some time. Okay. Italian mozzarella. We put it all over the place here. Sunday night pizza at the Kaplan's. I'm going to get the other one, and then I'll come back to you in a minute. We'll see you in a little while. Don't forget to write your congressman and tell him to get after Bush. <laughs>